Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about Coco's Creator. Now, if you're a regular to this channel, you've probably seen Coco's in the past. If not, well, what you see in front of you, this is Coco's Creator. In some ways, you can think of it as kind of a Unity light uh, for creating web and mobile style games. It's free, it is semi-open source, that meaning that the um, game engine behind the scenes is open source, but the editor that you see right now is not. It is, however, free to use. Uh, it, it's got all of the visual tools that you would expect. So traditional if you are working in a Unity-like environment, you're getting those kinds of experience. So for example, here I am in a main scene. I could go ahead and I could control the lighting here, and you'll see immediate real-time feedback from those changes. Uh, at the same time, if you start to import assets into Coco's Creator, uh, so for example, this material, you get a material editor, you get multi-pass handling for uh, detailing of how to render everything, you get a real-time preview, and so on. At the same time, let's go ahead and open up a 3D model. So we got an FBX model here. There it is. You can see a preview of it down here. You've got multiple different animations. So right now here is an idle animation. And then we've got things like attack animations. So you've got the 3D importers. You've got the material editors. You've got animation editors. You've got a visual scene graph for composing your scene. Now in terms of how you actually do the logic, let me go down here and show you on this fighters thing. You'll notice there is this fighter manager TypeScript file attached. I can grab that guy right there. These are the various different scripts. You, you basically just create these scripts using TypeScript or the JavaScript programming language and attach them to game objects in your world. It's a pretty straightforward approach. I do like the TypeScript language, not so much the JavaScript language, uh, but if you're looking to create titles in those areas, this especially web and mobile, uh, Cocos Creator is a pretty good pickup, especially if you don't want all of the bloat or complexity of something like a Unity game engine. Uh, and the reason why we were talking about it today is because of this announcement. So traditionally they've been web and mobile focused. Well, now they're on a console, specifically the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so uh, the very end of last month, Coco's Technology announced, and by the way, this is one of those things about Coco's Technology that drives me nuts, and I called them out on this in their last press release, stop making grandiose unsupported statements. We'll see if you can detect which one I'm talking about as I go through this press release today. Uh, so Coco's Technology, known for its open source game engine technology, announced today that their latest game engine, Coco's Creator, is officially adding the ability to develop for the Nintendo Switch. This is the first time the company has officially ventured into console games uh, with the help of Nintendo making it an official game engine for Nintendo developers. People have always known us for having the best open source game engine, uh, sorry, open source engine for game development for mobile devices and web, says Coco's Technology CEO Z Wang. But as our development ecosystem has been evolving, so have our company goals, and the Nintendo Switch is part of our future. Not only for its ability to have gaming on the go, but its appeal to gamers uh, here in China and globally. Now, one of the things you're going to notice about this game engine, especially you may have saw it in the comments from the description I showed that they were um, Chinese, uh, this is very strong in Asian markets, and it supports a lot of things that are local there, such as like Harmony OS, WeChat, and so on. But it fully works in Western markets as well. There's no reason why this would only be for Asian developers, but it's definitely got a very strong Asian development community uh, behind it. So uh, this is just the beginning of many things happening with Coco's Creator, uh, says Coco's Technical Director, Hu Man Ling. Uh, we have already expanded with support for Harmony OS, TikTok, and WeChat minigames. Uh, Nintendo adds even more places developers can create and share their products across the world. We're excited to share where Coco's Creator's games go next. Coco's Creator for Nintendo Switch is available for free in early July to all Nintendo Switch developers in the middleware section of the Nintendo Developer Portal. Uh, developers who are already approved to develop for the Nintendo Switch can access the software from Coco's. For more information, check our official blog at cocos.com. So, again, my only complaint is this statement right here, and it would all go away with just the addition of one word. People have known us for having the best open source game engine. That is problematic. I know a lot of Godot users will probably sit there and go, wait, wait, wait a minute here, as might uh, GDevelop, as might Default, as might a number of other game engines in this space. And again, in web area, we've got uh, Babylon JS, we've got uh, Play Canvas, et cetera, et cetera. So that one might be a little, um, little annoying for people uh, to, to go with. Or if they just said, one of the best, one of the best, okay, the best, 
Not okay, especially if you don't qualify it. So they did this in their last press release. They did it again in this one. Stop making grandiose, unverified statements, people, because this is coming from the best game development resources voted the last four or five years by my mom. Don't ask me about that fifth year. So, you know, you just can't make these grand statements without some kind of thing backing them up. But if you are interested in checking out Coco's Creator, it is very cool technology, especially if you like the JavaScript or TypeScript programming language. It is available at Cocos.com. You can download it for Windows or Mac. I do not know if this will work in Wine or in another way on the Linux platforms. If you can get it running on Linux, please do let me know. I'd be curious to find out. I do believe the open source game engine behind it works just fine on um, those platforms, but I'm just not entirely certain about the editor itself. So if you want to come in, you can grab it right here. By the way, if you're interested in the learning Cocos Creator, uh, I have done a crash course on it. It's a little bit older now, uh, but it does walk you through the basics of what you need to know to get up and going. I'm not sure how much behind the scenes the, um, the programming interfaces have changed too much, but this should be a good starter to get you up and going with Cocos Creator still. Um, so again, Cocos Creator is now uh, on the Nintendo Switch. Nice announcement there. If you've never checked out Cocos in the past, if the idea of a lightweight Unity for web and mobile games sounds good to you, that's exactly what Cocos brings. And it is free and kind of semi-open source. And it's uh, one of the best open source engines for game development on mobile devices in the web, maybe. Anyways, let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.